Okay, I want to start off with y'all just clapping your hands. And then at, on the second beat, stomp your feet, okay? All right. So, clap, clap, clap. screens everywhere and, and all this stuff throwing radiation all through your house. <laughs> Microwaves and all. Huh? Yeah, the kids was in remote control. We didn't have them push the button. I said, get up here, turn to channel three. And you ain't have all those channels. You had three, five, eight, maybe 19, 55. Oh, man, you doing real good. Ain't no, we ain't have all those channels. 
43? Yeah, 43. <laughs> 25 didn't come in that good, amen? So we tried to get it, amen, but we didn't have all of that. Do you know how blessed we are as a people? Come on. We didn't have two or three cars. We had one car. We really picked up everybody. Whoever had the car. I was blessed. I, I had a car, amen, so I picked up everybody. I had my family, all the friends, the church people, amen. Sometimes, yeah, we, we had like 10 people in one car. It looked like one of those clown cars hanging out the window, you know, feet here, legs there. Amen. But we made it through. And we should be thankful to God, more thankful than we are right now. I shouldn't have to come and tell you to praise, raise your hands and tell God thank you. When you come in here, we love each other. Y'all give me a hug. Don't be walking past me like you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? We didn't do that. We loved each other. I saw Jan Jonathan, I mean, we dapped up. I said, what's up, my dude? <laughs> yeah. Amen. Sister, she came in. We was hugging each other. She came. She said, give me my hug. Too. I said, come on, give me my hug, girl. Amen. Why? We're family. We're people. We love each other. Tell somebody we love each other. We love each other. Do we really love each other? Yes. Amen. Amen. And this Black History Month, I'm doing it. I'm just talking about Black History. I love Black History. I'm a little Afrocentric. I know. Amen. But but we need to all be that way. And it's okay. We love God. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. But we're also a people too. And you know what's weird? Every other nationality, they celebrate who they are. Everybody but us. When we get down, we, we say ninja this, ninja that. I ain't saying the real word, amen. Amen. Ninja's good enough. But we need to stop that. We need to start loving the image that you see. So I want to talk a little bit today about relationships. Say relationships. Relationships. Amen. It, it's important. Relationships are important. Um, I want to talk on, on marriage. I, I'm not going to be able to do all of that this month, and I don't want to take a lot of time today, but I want to just say a few things to you. So if you will, let's go to Genesis, the fifth chapter, and we're going to read um, the first and the second verse. So that's Genesis, the fifth chapter. And when you have it, just stand to your feet. I'm sorry. The fifth chapter of Genesis. The first and the second verse. Yeah. I may say some few, a few scriptures more inside of, but this is where the basis of our premise will come. Amen. And I need everybody to stand when you have it. Let's honor God. And that's another thing. When we read the word of God, we stand to our feet to honor his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I'm not going to go to everybody standing and we're going to read. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. It's the first book. Genesis is the first book in the Bible and it's the fifth chapter. The very first book in the Bible. Amen. Everybody have it? Amen. You got it, Aubrey? All right, awesome. Okay, let's, let's read in concert together on two, one and two. This is the book of the generation of likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam, and the day they were created. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and your peace towards us. Father, we honor you. We bless you in this month, oh God, that has been set aside, allocated for black history. Father, we don't take it lightly, Lord God, that you have made us African Americans. And you brought us here for your purpose and for a plan, your perfect plan. We thank you, Lord God, as we look through the portals of time, we can see where our people have made major contributions. Oh God, each week, Lord God, we're going to be talking about those contributions that we as a people have made, oh God, being in this land, Father. And I thank you 
And we honor you, Lord God, for the creative ability that's on the inside of us, oh God, to do great and mighty things. Father, we are a blessed people, Lord God, not only because we're sons of Abraham, but you made us the way you made us, the way we look for a purpose, for a reason. Thank you, Lord God, and we thank you for it. So we embrace, oh God, that which you have done, that which you have given. You have a purpose for all things, oh God. You don't do anything frivolously, Lord God, but Lord God, you have planned us and you have made us, Lord God, you have strengthen us, oh God, and you have places just where we are for such a time as this, oh God. Lord God, I thank you, oh God. I know we had a struggle, Lord God. I know, Lord God, that things have been bad for us. We know, oh God, for the, 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 the strong, Lord God, move that we had to do, oh God, to get things done, Lord God. But in the midst of it all, God, you have caused us, oh God, to be resilient, Lord God. Lord God, when we should have just jumped over the bridge, Lord God. You gave us to hold ourselves together when we just should have just given up, oh God. We are a resilient people. We are a people, Lord God, that have taken some adversity, oh God, and kept on coming back. We've taken a nicking and kept on ticking, Lord God. And I thank you, oh God, for being, oh God, a part of such a great people, Lord God, that you have blessed and put your name on. And Lord God, I believe, oh God, that the next move of God will come through this, your people, Lord God. Lord God, we've been in Egypt, oh God, but Lord God, we're coming out to the promised land, Father. So I thank you, oh God, for the great things, oh God. Lord, bring up our faith to understand. Bring up, oh God, our faith that we'll believe in what you have done in the midst of us, oh God. Bring up, oh God, our understanding that we may know, Lord God, that we are blessed. We are black. We're beautiful, Lord God, and we're intelligent, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, for these your people. Lord God, I pray that you will rest upon them, your anointing, oh God, and give them, oh God, to move mightily, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Not being afraid, not being ashamed, not holding their head up, but hold your head up, Lord, that I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of this might, Lord God. I know the sun may have shined on us a little longer than others, oh God, but Lord, we're blessed of God and highly favored, oh God. So we thank you, Lord God, and we decree, oh God, that we shall do great and mighty things and nothing shall stop us. There's nothing that we cannot do because we believe you, Lord God. And we trust you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Even during the Depression, Lord God, we build churches, oh God. We build buildings. We build We build everything. We build this whole United States, oh God. Lord God, so hallelujah. At the end of a whip, Lord God. But Lord God, you're turning it around. And I pray now, Lord God, that the wealth, the wealth of the wicked, Lord God, is stored up for us, oh God. Is stored up for the righteous, God. Is stored up, oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for those who were slaves, oh God. Thank you, Lord. I pray that you would loose them out of their bondage in their minds, oh God, and give them a know, Lord God, that we ain't no slave no more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And though they may have enslaved us, oh God, in the physical, Lord God, we've never been enslaved in the spirit. So we thank you, Lord God. Give us, oh God, to understand who we are, Lord God, and walk in that anointing place, that anointing place that has been set forth just for us. Thank you, Lord God just for us. And we'll bless you for it now. We'll give you the glory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say it loud. No, I'm black and I'm proud. Y'all don't know James Brown. Say it loud. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My faith just keeps going off. Thank you, Lord God. So, um, I know y'all looking at me and said, Bishop is crazy. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So are you. Amen. I'll be looking at me like that, James. You are too. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. So we're going to talk about relationships today. Um, relationships is something that we all, at one point or another, will have to encounter or to deal with um, in some form or fashion. There's something about relationships. Relationships could be most debilitating or draining or, amen, unbearing, amen, or unbearable when it comes down to some things in life. However, on the other hand, it can be 
the greatest thing to bless your life unmeasurably or immeasurably. In prison, um, there's a form of punishment that, that's called the lockdown. And in that lockdown, everyone must go to their cell alone, or if you have a celly, they call somebody who sell, share the cell with you. Amen. And in that time, it, it, most of the time it's for 24 hours, and you can't go out to the yard, you can't do anything. You're just locked in the cell. Amen. And, and no walls. I mean, there's walls, but no, no windows, no lights. They may have the internal lights, but that's not like having a sunlight. Amen. But that was a form of punishment. And if you got in trouble, or you did something really out of place, they'll put you in a place that they call the hole. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Have y'all seen prison movies? Amen. But it's, it's real. It's a reality. It's not just a movie. Amen. They will put you in the hole, and in the hole you will be confined in the dark for a very long period, sometimes for 30 days or more. Amen. Depending on the situation. So my question, as I looked at that, is why this kind of punishment? Why this kind of torture? And I come to realize that it's because while humans or we as humans were never designed to be alone. Amen. But the enemy understands it, but we don't. So when they put, it, put you in prison, put you in that dark place, it does something to your mind, it does something to your body. I believe you get older. There's a lot of things that takes place because you're confined all alone. You listen to me today, and you and you understand uh, what I'm saying, and if you can feel what I'm saying, it's because God has never designed any of us to be alone. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. We are all, because watch this, we're all in the pursuit of happiness. How many people are not pursuing happiness in their life? We all, we all do, right? Y'all give me a show me your hands. I know y'all listen, but I want to know y'all really listen to me, okay? going to have the happiness. Now, here's a place that I believe would be a good place to start. See, the first place of getting to a place of happiness or a place of relationship is not going to come from your husband or your wife. It's not going to come from um, your significant other. Amen. It's not going to come from your, your BFF. Amen. <laughs> Best friends forever, just so I'm not cussing up here, amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not going to come from, you know, your children, right. amen? And, and it's not going to come from your relatives, although some of those things may happen. But when you're, what you really need to start in having a good relationship is to have a good, prosperous relationship with God. Right. See, because when your relationship with God is right, he'll help make all the rest of those situations on relationships right. Amen? Even your enemy will be at peace with you. So, uh, what is relationship? What is relationship? Well, it, it says the definition is the way in which two or more concepts or two or more objects or two or more people are connected or the state of bishop without connection. Right. See, if there, and if there is no connection, then relationship is not functional. Sometimes people don't want relationship. They just want what they can get out of you. Some people use relationship in a, in a mindset of abuse. But relationship is not abuse. Relationship is not harsh. Say relationship is not harsh. Relationship is not harsh. Relationship is not spiteful. And relationship is not vindictive. 
And see, sometimes we can, when you think you're in a relationship, but if you're being spiteful, if you're being abusive, if I'm abusing my wife, and it's two kinds of abuses. There's an abuse where you abuse physically, Sister Venus, but then there's another abuse where you abuse mentally. And for women, that's probably the worst abuse for them, amen, because we, we don't, we're not abused mentally, not as much to the same place where you guys are, amen. So, amen, uh, uh, the, I, I, I had a, a quote, let me give you the quote, and it says, the meaning, the meeting of two, because they describe what relationship was, I thought it was interesting, so I, I jotted it down, it says, the meeting of two personalities it's like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is no reaction, if there's a reaction, both are transformed. So, do I need to say it again? Because I see how y'all looking at me. Uh, relationship, the, the, the meaning of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there's no reaction, um, both are transformed, if there is a reaction. So when we have a relationship, there has to be a reaction. When there's a connection, if you love somebody, they should love you back. Amen. If you care for someone, they should care for you, amen? If you got my best interest, I should have your best interest. That's relationship. There's a connection. There's something, there's a, and through that, there's a transformation. Amen. When I asked Jesus to come into my heart, there was a connection. He was already, amen, waiting for me. Amen. However, it took me to connect with him. Right. Amen. So in relationship, it's important to understand that we must be connected. Yeah. We cannot be disconnected. Amen. Just Patrice, we got to be connected. I told you this morning, I love you. I like you to tell me that sometime too, amen. We pray together, amen. We embrace, amen, because we're connected. Amen. James, you know, we get together, man. We hug. I love you, man. Came to the ball game with him, amen. Amen. We went and saw the kids, so, you know. You know, <laughs> But she was blocking, man. We went over. She was taking some stuff down. I said, I ain't going to try to do no layup on this girl, amen. <laughs> It's like a wall. <laughs> I want to call her the Iron Curtain. Amen. But there, there, we have to be connected. Amen. And, and without a connected connection, there would be no, amen, reaction to the connection. Because there's going to be some kind of reaction, whatever um, case may be. Amen. If you're going to be connected, something's going to happen. So you better watch out who you're connected with. Because the person you connected with can either make things good for you or make things not so good. Amen. Yeah. Thanks, God. So, but uh, we cannot have relationship when we don't understand the image. But now we're going back to our scripture. It said, um, Jesus, God said he made Adam in his image. Amen. And we are in the image of Adam, which is in the image of God. Did you know that? Yeah. So if we cannot have a relationship if we don't understand the image or we disrespect the image mm -hmm. or we even hate the image on, that we see when we look in the mirror. Amen. And it's not just a black image. It's not just a white image. Amen. But it's an image of God. Amen. And if you don't love the image, if you can't respect the image, you'll never respect yourself. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So as you look at the mirror, you got to see past what you see. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. I can look in the mirror. I know my image when I see it, but then I know my image. Amen. Right. Amen. So when you're feeling like you can't make it, look in the mirror. Amen. I, I teach sometimes. I, I, I have to, uh, classes. I tell them, look in the mirror. What do you see? I want them to tell me what you see. And see, what you, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? What do you see, Elder? I see I am black, I am intelligent, I am beautiful, I am a smart woman of mighty son of God. Okay, you come on up here and take this mic. <laughs> Sister Dina, what do you see? Just give me one thing. When you look in that mirror, what do you see? I am blessed. 
you are blessed. You sure are. Amen. Well, you see, um, Sister Amber, you bless who? You sure are. You better know it. Amen. What do you see? A genius. A genius. Yes, I like that. Glory to God. What about you, Sister Khadija? A queen. Huh? Queen. A queen. Come on, queen. Amen. So we have to respect the image that we see. But it goes deeper than just what we see in, our, in the natural. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. But we need to fulfill our human condition. It cannot be completed, completely satisfied. So as we are being fulfilled as a people, we cannot be completely satisfied without God. Now, see, you may think that you can get it together just because you can comb your hair a certain way, put your makeup a certain way, and you got your, 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 your mustache all combed down, and you got, you know, your hair's in place. And we think that because we did that, we got it all together. But I want you to know that you ain't got it all together. Because the only way we can really have it all together is to have him in our lives. Amen. See, because there's all kinds of relationships. We can have relationships with friends, families. We can have a relationship with a husband, with a wife. We can have a relationship with our children. We can have relationships on our jobs, right? We can have relationships with our pets, amen? There's a lot of different kind of relationships we can have, amen. amen? But these relationships are great relationships, but they're all temporal. Right, come on. They're all temporal. Amen. Even looking in that mirror, you may look away, look some way now, but you wait 20 years later. Amen. I can see some wrinkles in my face now. I didn't see those when I was 17. Amen. I see a lot of gray hairs coming up. Amen. I didn't see those when I was 16. Amen. But see, if you keep looking, you're going to see a change. But one thing about Jesus. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He ain't never going to change, amen? amen? And see, these things, amen, that we look at, these people, amen, our friends, our family, amen, they, they believe you. They'll betray you. Your job will close. They'll fire you. Your pet will pass on. There's all kinds of things can, that will happen because all of these things are temporal. But the only real thing is in Jesus Christ. Amen. So but we, we seek after those other relationships, though, right? We want the relationship with this person. We want that relationship there. We want all of these other relationships, but we don't take the time that we really need to take to have a relationship with Jesus. But tell somebody, we need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I taught on Wednesday and we talked about impostors. Amen. If y'all didn't see it, y'all need to look at an imposter. An imposter is somebody who's pretending to be what they isn't. They aren't. Amen. And see, we don't need to be no imposter, but we really need to have Jesus in our hearts. And the Lord gave that to me. Amen. And I wanted to see, we need to be walking victorious. I'm tired of hearing negative stuff. See, but it takes in this relationship walk. If we really walk with the Lord, he will help us through the other situations. Amen. Whatever it is. Tell somebody whatever it is. Whatever it is. You think it's too hard for God? No. no. You think COVID is too hard for God? No. no. Come on, I see many people raise up, amen? amen? They only tell you one part of it. I saw a lot pass on, but they only tell you one part. There's people who doing really good. Amen. There's people who ain't never even been sick. Right. From any of them. Right. So it ain't greater, it ain't greater than God. Don't put anything over our God. Amen. Amen. And the reason why we can do that is because we have to have a good relationship. Amen. And see that relationship with him, it, with him it, it, it surpasses every other relationship that you can ever have. Amen. And if I'm going to have a relationship, I do have, I'd rather have a relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I'm fine all by myself. Me and Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. And see, when you write with Jesus, then you can invite somebody else in. But if you ain't got Jesus, you can't deal with nobody anyway. Because that's the flesh. You can't please nobody in your flesh. The Bible says, what profit a man if he would gain the whole world, but then lose his soul? 
And what would it be to, amen, what would a man give in, 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 in process of his soul? Or in exchange, your process, what would he give? What would you give for in change of your soul? In change of your salvation? A woman? A man? Some money? Some things? A good house? Nice house? Hey, I gave you this big house, but you're going to go to hell. Oh, well, I just go ahead and get the house. But you know what? We say that. We say, well, I wouldn't do that, but we do it every day. When we choose when we choose to do things in the carnal and we forget about God, we have made that decision. Wow. Instead of forgive, we don't forgive. We made that decision. Instead of love, but then we start hating, we made that decision. Instead of supporting, we don't support, we made that decision. See, it's the same. Wow. So I say to you this morning, get you a relationship with God. Amen. See, you have been designed and fashioned to be the salt of the earth. You have been designed and fashioned to be the light of the world. Wow. How many salt shakers in here? Hallelujah. <laughs> I got a couple of them. Amen. But you, you, what is salt? <coughs> salt is a, a seasoning agent. <coughs> amen. You keep stealing my words out of my mouth. It is a preserver. <laughs> amen. It preserved. And see, what they would take the meat, they didn't, they used to didn't have freezers. So what they would do, they would take the meat, put it in a smokehouse, put salt in it, and it would preserve the meat. Amen? It, it's preserved. It's a preserver. Amen? So we are, you know why this world hasn't just blown up? Because we're here. That's right. Y'all think that we can keep going the way we're going and, and things not go too far. Amen? It's because of the saints. You got to know who you are. That's right. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. Amen. Have you ever went someplace and they just, somebody walk up to you and just start talking to you, Brother yeah. James? Yeah. And they don't even know you. They just talk to you and say, man, I, just, I don't know what's, I know he looked like Evers Albert, but I mean, I know it is an Evers, amen, but there's something about him. Right. Right. Amen. That's the spirit of God. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought I heard it. <laughs> they may say he looked like him, but he do look like him. Amen. But 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 all that that's not it. Amen. But they see something deeper. Yes. Amen. One of my my apostles, he told me one day he was in a post office and they told him that he it asked him, is he human? <laughs> amen. I think I told Chuck before. I hope nobody asks me am I human or not. Amen. That's not no good thing to ask a person, especially a black man. Right. Amen. But are we human? No! We really aren't. We are the body of Christ. So actually, that was a good question. When you look in the mirror again, ask, are you human? <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the human body having a spiritual experience, right? Or we're in the spirit body having a human experience, right? Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, our scripture says, it's, this is the book of the generation of Adam in the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and watch this, and called their name Adam. Wow. So he didn't say Adam, he called their name. So what was he saying? That they are one, they are connected. And that is what he wants from us. That he don't, when he see you, he wants to see you. When he see you, he wants to see. There shouldn't be a difference. When he looks at you, Pat, he see your husband. I mean, there's no difference. Khadijah, when he look at you, he see, see Genesis. Amen. He just because we're just one. Amen. When he see me, they see my wife. Amen. When he see Virginia, you see me. Amen. She ain't my wife, amen. But we have the same spirit, right? When you see Sister Carla, you see me. Right. They say, wow, you do you know do you know Mrs. Singers? Because you sure act like them. Wow. Come <laughs> on. Come on, man. Because we begin to be one. Right. We when we begin to be connected, there's something that takes place. Amen. Right. There's power in unity. And not only in the spirit, but even as a people. We need to unify ourselves. If we have businesses in here, amen, support the business. 
We got nail techs. We got hair. People do hair. We got people to have companies, security companies, do different things. Use your people. But instead, we look and say, I don't want them doing nothing for me. <laughs> Come on, I hear it all the time. I know we got some of them messed up. I know some of them been made up. But give us a chance, right? Yeah. You ain't tried me yet. Yeah. That's right. Come on, say, you ain't tried me yet. Yeah. Come, on, yeah. Come on now. She going to take care of you. Yes, she is. Yeah. You know what? That's real. And see, we got to stop that. We go to the Africans, we go to this people, yeah. we go to the Spanish, we go all the go over and get all the stuff from them. And then we have somebody sitting right next to us and we want some these people. They don't care nothing. They pull your hair out, they put stuff that don't supposed to be in it, they do all kind of things to you. Tear your edges out. No, it's time <laughs> to begin to love the image that you see in the mirror. Had no hair, we messed with I'm not. I'm talking about God's image, but I'm talking about your image too. Right. See, as a people, we don't like the image that we see. Wow. We hate the image that we see. Yeah. We don't respect the image that we see. Wow. I love my black brothers. I love my black sisters. Amen. 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 I ain't say I didn't love the other ones. Amen. But I love mine. Amen. I love mine first. <laughs> Hallelujah. But he called their name Adam. In the mix ones. He's created us in his image. And he's called your name Adam. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. The two becomes one in Christ. Let's not just be two anymore. Let's be one. Can we all be one? As we understand and we begin to embrace this month as Black History Month, can we be one as a people? Can we unify? Can we support one another? Amen. You, you got a business, I'm going to sow something into your business. I'm sowing something. I'm going to do it this week. I'm going to sow something into your business. Amen. Who else got businesses in here? I'm going to sow something into your business. Amen. I'm going to sow something into your business. Write it down, honey, so I know. I'm going to sow something into your business. Y'all write it down and let me know. And watch this. I'm expecting y'all to do the same thing. Sow it to our businesses in here. Let's start being a people for real. Let's start being a family for real. And that's what this month is. This, we, we, I'm going to be talking this month on different things. We talked about relationships today. We talked about the church last week, the black church, and how it, it strengthens us as a people. Next week, I'm going to talk about men. And then the next week, we're going to talk about our women, amen, amen. in the church. But we, we need to embrace each other. It's, it's time out for being divided, amen. amen. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So I'm done. Amen. 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 Praise God. Now, I need to just say this one last thing. Look at somebody. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Repeat after me. I'm black. I'm black. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm intelligent. I'm intelligent. And I have a relationship with God. I have a relationship with God. Come on, say it again. What? I'm black. I'm black. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm intelligent. I'm intelligent. And I got a relationship with God. Go ahead, put your hands together. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So with that, we're going to move forward. Amen. In relationship, the, the young people, they did a wonderful job today. God bless you all. Amen. I, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I want y'all to keep going. This service, I may give you a scripture, but I want to hear what they're saying. I want to um, learn some more about our culture, amen? Because it's important. We only got two more weeks, so we have next week, but then the last week, all of y'all prepare again, all the young people, Genesis, everybody, that last week, that last day, we're going to um, do some special stuff. I want to hear from everybody. We're going to get some refreshments afterwards. We're going to do the fellowship a little bit when we get done, amen? But I, I want you to know that I love you all, especially as my people, Amen. And we have to learn how to love each other. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So it's part of his father. We thank you, Lord God, and we honor you this day for this word. I pray, Lord God, that you would help us to unify ourselves in relationship, not just with ourselves, each other, but with you, God. 
because we know that you are the common denominator, Lord God. And if we got you, Lord God, we got the world. So, Father, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Lord, be thy glorified, be thou exalted in our midst. Thank you, Lord. We need more of you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you will lift the chains off of our people. Lift, Lord God, all of the depression, Lord God, and the bondage, Lord God. Lift it now, Lord God, and give us to know that we are a beautiful people. Bring up their understanding, God. Thank you, Lord God. Let them have the peace of God that, Lord God, passes all understanding, oh God, that we may walk in a place, God, that will glorify you, and then we will love the image that we see in the mirror, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. So be thou glorified this day, God, and we'll honor you for it, and we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God.